Hi folks, before we begin, please be aware that we are recording this webinar. If you have any questions about the resources, we encourage you to follow up via email at support at electionsgroup.com. Thank you all for joining us today. My name is Annie and I'm an election expert with the Elections Group. And I'm Rebecca, the Communications and Program Manager for the Elections Group. For those of you who may be joining us for the first time, the Elections Group is an election administration consulting firm. We partner with state and local election officials to implement new programs or improve processes for voters and stakeholders. We provide guidance, resources, and direct management support for jurisdictions. Our team is made up of former election officials and election experts from across the United States. We're pleased to have you all with us today for our final highlight of resources for the election administration community. Each week in this series, we have showcased resources from the elections group paired with resources from other organizations in the election space. Every four weeks, we've focused on a different topic and we've taken a deeper dive into the resources available each week. This month, we focused on election administration, specifically due diligence. And this week, we are highlighting the election group's risk limiting audit procedures for local election officials and the American Statistical Association's principles and best practices for post election tabulation audits. Let's get right into the resources. All right, so first up, we have our tag resource. Um, the Risk Limiting Audit Procedures offers structured step-by-step -step instructions for local election officials to ensure accuracy, transparency, and compliance with security protocols throughout the RLA process. A risk limiting audit or an RLA is a post-election tabulation audit in which a random sample of voted ballots is manually examined for evidence that the originally reported outcome of the election is correct. As its name suggests, an RLA limits the risk of certifying a contest with the wrong winner. An RLA gives statistical evidence that the machine tabulated results are consistent with what a full hand count, what, excuse me, what a full hand count of ballots would reveal. Unlike fixed percentage audits, an RLA limits the risk that the wrong election result will be certified because of tabulation error. RLAs adjust sample sizes based on contest margins, increasing efficiency and accuracy compared to fixed percentage audits. There are three main methods for conducting an RLA. Where and how ballots are scanned will be factored into the decision of which method will work best. So one of the main methods is ballot comparison. When specific ballots are compared to cast vote records from the election management system or the EMS, this audit is looking for discrepancies between the two. Second method is ballot polling. This is when randomly selected ballots are tallied and results are compared to reported margins. This audit is looking for a similar or greater margin. And finally, we have batch comparison. So this is when subtotals from specific batches of ballots are compared to the EMS results. This audit is looking for discrepancies between the two. Additionally, the procedure manual goes through the key steps of an RLA process pre-election preparation, audit preparation, conducting the audit, and conducting the audit for a holistic and organized approach to RLAs. Download the guide and get started today. Thanks, Rebecca. The American Statistical Association's Principles and Best Practices for Post-Election Tabulation Audits provides guidelines for conducting post-election tabulation audits to confirm that election results accurately accurately reflect voter intent and to strengthen public confidence. Post-election audits differ from recounts in that they are routine, systematic check on voting system performance designed to detect errors or issues regarding of how close the results are. Effective audits rely on examining voter verified paper ballots, meaning physical inspection of the actual ballots marked by voters, rather than digital representations. Transparency is critical, so the audit process should be open for public observation with clear, publicly accessible procedures that are shared well before the election. Ballot protection is essential to prevent tampering, therefore ballots must be stored and handled securely from the moment they're received until the audit and certification process is complete. Audit should include all cast ballots, including absentee and provisionals, and should not arbitrarily exclude any contests from review. Risk limiting audits are recommended as a scientifically sound, resource efficient way to provide strong evidence of accurate tabulation while focusing efforts on close races where there is a greater need to verify outcomes. 
The audit process should be flexible enough to adapt to particular situations such as discrepancies in preliminary results or election day issues. Importantly, the audit's findings must be binding, meaning that discrepancies should lead to corrections before results are certified. Continuous improvement is another key principle. Analyzing audit discrepancies allows election officials to refine processes, improve training, and enhance election security. Best practices suggest making audit details and outcomes available to the public with comprehensive documentation. Different types of audits, such as batch level, ballot level, and balling ballot polling audits are suited for different scenarios, and sample sizes should be adaptable based on contest margins to increase audit reliability while controlling costs. For multi-jurisdiction contests, standardized practices across counties or states make the audit process smoother and more effective. Overall, these principles and practices help ensure that post-election audits are transparent, statistically sound, and supportive of election integrity. Check out the guide today. We also wanted to highlight some examples in the wild of election offices across the country who are doing some really amazing work. The Anchorage Municipality's 2024 Risk Limiting Audit Report details a thorough review of election accuracy, showing transparency in sample selection, audit processes, and results verification. The report includes specific audit outcomes, worksheet data, and compliance with chain of custody protocols, which serve as a model for other election administrators. The structured approach to auditing allows for consistent verification practices, ensuring voter confidence, and demonstrating accountability in election management. Kudos to Anchorage, Alaska, and keep up the great work. And that's a wrap. Thank you for everyone uh, for joining us throughout this series. Thank you, Rebecca, and all of our guests for such great discussions. All of the resources throughout the series have been shared. As always, our inbox is open. If you have any additional questions, please email us at support at electionsgroup.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.